Scientists generally focus on five major human threats to biodiversity. Habitat destruction, overexploitation such as poaching, climate change, pollution, and biological invasions. Some organizations rank these threats to help guide conservation priorities, but each agency has its own methods leading to different rankings. The authors of this paper argue that the lack of harmony makes it difficult to fully understand the issues and to develop and prioritize solutions. In the paper, the authors argue that we actually shouldn't rank biodiversity threats as that may end up pointing us in the wrong direction. They give several reasons why this is the case. Different species are impacted in unique ways by a variety of threats. This means it is difficult to apply a standard formula to all situations. For example, pollution is more of a threat in Europe than in the tropics, where habitat loss and poaching are common drivers of extinctions. When evaluating threats, it's important to consider different types of animals. For example, we shouldn't lump marine animals and land animals together. Similarly, birds and mammals may be impacted by different threats than amphibians and reptiles. Even size matters. Large mammals are often the most impacted by poaching, while small mammals tend to be more susceptible to pollution and habitat destruction. Most studies that inform threat rankings are based in high-income countries and focus on a small percentage of species. Because representation is not equal, this may lead to bias in how conservation decisions and funds are allocated. In order to be effective, rankings must capture the impact of time relative to threats. Climate change is more likely to pose a major threat in the future, while some threats may have been more of a problem in the past. The speed of threats is also a factor. Invasive species may cause native species to decline quickly, but habitat loss often takes longer to impact animals. Just because a threat takes longer doesn't mean it's any less of a problem. Measuring threats depends on having reliable data, but these aren't always available and metrics vary from one organization to the next. Likewise, threat rankings may not consider a single threat that has many different outcomes. Ranking biodiversity threats is important to animal advocacy because the data are often used to secure funding and support for conservation initiatives. This study shows that the current way of ranking threats is too simplistic and may confuse policymakers and the public. Animal advocates can work to improve this by providing a fuller picture of different threat scenarios with a variety of metrics and outcomes. Together, we can encourage leaders to make more nuanced decisions to benefit the world's most vulnerable animals.